really early this morning and I was in my room just hanging out and uh, man, I forgot about the time change and I forgot that the sunrise is an hour earlier. So I got here a little later than I was hoping to, but uh, it's still early. I mean, the sun's not completely up yet. So uh, let's get it. All right guys, I just set this in the rod holder and it feels like I already hooked up, hooked up to something. I was gonna get two rods right here. I didn't even have time to get the second rod. It doesn't feel too big. Let's see what we got. Whatever it is, it's got a decent size to it. Let's see. Ah, a little hard head. Ah, let's throw this guy back. Grab my pliers. Hate these little guys. For people wondering how I'm rigging up, this is my setup right now. I got a like a double dropper loop, a high-low rig or whatever you want to call it. And I'm using a pyramid sinker. I got some of the, those uh, those spider sinkers that are made for fishing in the surf also. But I already had this rigged up from yesterday, so I just left it. I got something on here guys. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's got a little fight in it. Another hard head. Oh, got my line tangled. Dang it. Oh. Oh, another ladyfish. Like I was catching yesterday. Let this guy go. It got some size to it too. It's a good like two or three pounds. There it goes. There he goes. Got another fish on here. Wasn't in the water for five minutes. Just the time it took me to walk from, from where I casted it to the rod holder. And as soon as I put it in the rod holder, it was bent. Another big ladyfish, guys. Cool looking fish. I 
This ain't a lady fish. I'm not sure what this is, but I will look it up. Pretty cool looking. Look, got some sharp teeth. Might need to help with a little fish ID on this one. It's croaking. I feel it croaking. Doesn't look like a croaker though. Pretty cool. something on the spoon here oh I see a jump over there what is that oh man pretty cool whatever it is it's jumping out of the water oh that's pretty cool aggressive oh man I like it look at the teeth on this guy look at that oh man cool looking fish man he's he's shaking this guy's these guys are aggressive there you go that's something good There it go. See that jump out of the water? That was so cool. Oh man. I think I got the wrong setup here. I'm fishing braid. So when you're fishing jigs, it's really, it's hard to keep that tension on them because they'll jump out of the water and that, that braid has no stretch in it. So, you know, it's not as forgiving as mono. With mono, if a fish jumps out of the water, you can keep tension on them. Got another one, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, is he a jump? Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. Oh, 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 he let it go. Oh, man. That was awesome. There's definitely some fish around here. Hey, okay, guys. Got another fish hooked up. This one's not jumping out of the water, so I'm hoping it's a nice red. Oh, it's got some fight to it. Not a whole lot of size, but a lot of fight. Ah, I jumped out of the water. Might be one, another one of those bluefish. Welcome to the beach. Oh yeah, it's another one of those blue fish. Brought my pliers out with me this time. And these guys are so aggressive. Hmm. 
Another hookup. Oh man, this one might be a red. It's finding a little different. Oh man, that's a big, big sucker. It's not a red, it's another one of those bluefish. It's a big one though. Look at this guy. Right in the eye. Got him looking. Oh man. Right in the eye, buddy. All right, guys. I hope I'm not making a mistake here, but I'm gonna fish a light tackle. Corrado 200 E7, uh, Phoenix, medium heavy, seven, seven foot six rod, seven foot seven rod, and a little gold spoon. Getting a lot of action on the big spoon. Um, but I'm catching a lot of bluefish and I've caught some reds, some redfish on this gold spoon. Uh, so I'm hoping to hook up a nice red and uh, hopefully I don't get spooled. out of the water jig and fly out of his mouth that was cool got another fish hooked up guys i switched back to the big spoon because i wasn't feeling that that twitching that wrap shad whatever it's called i got a strike on it but i feel like i need to add treble hooks to it it feels like another blue fish it feels aggressive but it feels small Oh yeah, it's a bluefish. Oh man, he swallowed that thing. Try to swallow it. Whoa. Whoa, this guy's crazy. All right, calm down, guy. I'm trying to grab that jig. There you go. Look at this guy. All right guys, unfortunately it's time to go home. I uh, had a great trip out here on the coast. Uh, really good fishing this weekend. Um, thanks for watching and uh, hope to make some more videos soon.